NSFW, what is the craziest thing you witnessed at a party? An extremely drunk, high guy, I have no idea, he was wobbling around and hallucinating, and he made my bed. I watched, also fairly drunk, from the corner of my room, as he fell on top of it over and over while attaching the sheets and tucking them under the mattress. Guy's mother must have drilled some crazy sense of duty into him. I once got stabbed in the ducking chest at a party. This guy had a ceramic plate of wings, was drunk, and I accidentally bumped into him, dropping his wings and plate, he got so ducking mad he picked up a shard of the plate and stabbed me with it. I ended up going to the hospital but was mostly okay. Got a gun pointed at my crotch by the girl whose apartment the party was at. She laughed and said it wasn't loaded. Then some guy called her back over to the table where he was sitting. He said, give me that, and proceeded to pull out the magazine. I left about then. Guy showed up with a duck on a leash. Ducking wild man. Out by the barbecue at the back of the house late at night and mates urging me to look through the toilet window, I did and it was my older sister getting shagged up against the door. Our eyes met. It was horrible. A very fat friend of mine was extremely drunk and said, I am gonna do a flip, and did a complete front flip, landing on a plastic chair, which broke and sliced his arm open. Went to some girl's house party who made the mistake of saying, when everyone was robbing her dad's stuff, okay everyone can take just one item, obviously that didn't go well her house got obliterated. She got kicked out by her parents not long after the party and ended up on heroin. Very sad story and nobody knows for 100% certain but whenever we reminisce about it, my friends and I are pretty sure it's that house party that sparked her downward spiral as she was a well-educated girl and quite well off before that situation happened. She also ended up on Kilroy, an old British talk show, talking about the dangers of heroin and homelessness years later. Guy had a warrant out for his arrest for something stupid, no idea what. He saw flashing lights outside and panicked. He climbed out a tiny bathroom window without telling anyone and spent almost two hours on the roof, hiding in case the police came back. It wasn't the police, it was the meter maid checking for parking violations. Drinking with a bunch of friends, one guy's is smashed and spills his full drink all over the floor. He grabs the mop from the closet and starts mopping it up while the rest of us give him a hard time for wasting alcohol. Deadpan takes the mop, lifts it above his head and rings it out into his mouth. My friend's older brother Tim showed up uninvited. All night he kept asking everyone if they had seen his twin sister, she's here somewhere. I thought it was a little weird because he doesn't have a twin sister but I shrugged it off. There was probably 80 to 100 people there. All night, he makes it a point to ask each and every group, each and every single person if they had seen his twin sister, he can't find her. Around 1 am, in one swift movement, he tucks his wiener between his legs, drops his pants to his ankles, kills the stereo and starts screaming, twin sister. Twin sister. While quickly shuffling all through the party. Good job Tim. A girl I know broke up with her boyfriend at a party. He was so mad and drunk that he took both his hands and formed a hammer and smashed through windows. Next thing you know, he is on his knees, pissing blood, with both of his arteries severed. One dude that kept his shit together, teared his shirt apart, and tied both his arms, and carried him like a potato sack in his car, and flew to the hospital. He saved his life, in front of our eyes. We were like 20 people who saw this, and nobody, but this guy, did anything, we all stood there like idiots. A girl once lectured me about how dangerous cannabis is after she had just done a line of my coke. I went to a house party that got out of control. I was part of the clearing out squad, and I found a very coked up dude in the bathroom washing his face in the sink which appeared to fill with blood, like horror movie levels of blood. Apparently he was punched in the face by somebody with a big ring which had sliced his nose, essentially, off. I will never forget him stuporously turning towards me to say something and his nose following his head on a two second delay like a door on a hinge. He looked like Red Skull from the Marvel movies. I walked into a literal duck pile once, judging by the amount of limbs there were at least five people in it, with another six smoking pot and drinkong booze sitting around the pile like it was a weird bonfire. These guys were trying to cook a pig which none of them have ever done, so these geniuses came up with a plan to build a fire pit, lay the pig on top, then place a cast iron bathtub over the pig to cook, all day. When it was time to feed the partiers, they removed the tub to find nothing but ashes. They cremated a pig. I was in a band, the crowd was invited to the afterparty for a show. The guitarist was pretty, interesting. He invites two chicks that are friends to wrestle in a kiddie pool full of vegetable oil. I had been in a committed relationship for a couple years at this point. Still wanted to watch, but, was not wanting to be disloyal. So the crowd is watching the two girls go at it, I watch until their tops come off, then exit the party I see a very sad looking kid, maybe 12 or 13 years old, standing outside. Remembering being that age, and feeling bad, I say, hey, kid. Why so sad? You should go into the party, there's two chicks wrestling with their boobs hanging out. That's my sister, he said. I felt so awful. Ended up hanging out with him to try to make him feel better. 
It was towards the end of the night and one guy was asleep on a living room chair, legs over one arm and leaning back against the other arm. He woke up just as he was about to vomit and his friend literally dove in to catch the vomit with his hands, we didn't want to mess the house being underage drinkers. That wasn't the crazy bit though, sleepy guy had caught his own vomit in his hand and said, it's okay, I got this, and scooped it back into his mouth, swallowed it, then went back to sleep. It's been over 10 years since it happened and I will never forget watching that. I opened the wrong door and witnessed a girl start to vomit on my friend's pendies as she was sucking it. I went to a college Halloween party about 8 years ago, there's was this dude dressed up in a pink gorilla costume just going ham, life of the party. Dude went a little too hard, he ended up throwing up directly into his gorilla mask, while wearing it, and then followed it up by power yeeting himself down the stairs. An ambulance came for him and we saw him again the next morning when he returned as a regular colored human and a cast on his leg. A girl that said she wore three bras because it felt comfortable. She kept throwing bras around, and I counted about four when I had to pick them up after the party. She never returned to pick them up. There's a certain club in Berlin. If you go to the men's bathroom you're almost certainly going to run into this one guy, who's been there for years, who will beg you and other random men to piss on his face, and thank you if you do. He will do it for hours every night. He is pretty polite and doesn't force you to piss on him, though he will beg you for it. I've seen a lot of crazy things but this one dude is impossible to forget. Guy tried to kill himself in the bathroom tub by slashing his wrists. It was a smallish party in an apartment with one bathroom so people had to pee so thankfully they got to him in time. We broke down the door when he finally said what he was doing and called an ambulance. He lived. Also went to a psych ward for a few weeks after this. House party in college. Standing in the kitchen. It was low key, everyone was one or two degrees separated so not a rager. A guy was doing a shot of Captain Morgan with a few others. He poured it out of a Nalgene bottle that everyone got at orientation. The guy was one of the heavier drinkers in the group, so he was already pretty deep in the sauce. After they all threw the shots back, he had that look. The, maybe I can hold this one down, look. He couldn't hold it down. Luckily he was nearest the kitchen sink when he threw up. But what came out was not normal. The unholy liquid that came from his mouth was deep red with chunks of what looked like muscle. A thin fluid with just mace of meat and other things. It was like an 80s movie special effect after a guy gets shot in the head. And all this was just thrown into a stainless steel kitchen sink and surrounding countertop. Before he was even done purging, he just groaned, screamed. Turning on the water faucet while simultaneously scrapping the red vomit into the basin. Everyone was horrified. Turns out the guy had spent the day at a diner eating all-you-can-eat fried chicken with cherry cake for dessert with a group of friends. And also turns out the guy was me, I was that guy. A car of girls showed up who knew this one girl at the party already. They had been partying elsewhere earlier and fairly hard too. By the time they get to our party one girl is so drunk she shit in the back of her friend's car and passed out. Girls do indeed poop and can ruin the back of a Toyota Corolla. It was a nice car. Arondo who wound up at a house party asked a couple people if they had heroin, and after we kicked him out he came back to the smoker's area in the alley out back and tried to physically carry a drunk girl off down the back alley. We intervened and got her inside and safe, but that was pretty ducking crazy. Be careful out there kids. Watched a girl shoot heroin between her toes. Watched her turn blue and go unconscious, then die. No one would let me call 911. Watched her boyfriend literally beat her chest as hard as he could, over and over, until by some ducking miracle, she came back. I don't talk to any of these people anymore. A slice of pizza stuck to a cupboard. Just chilling, defying gravity. So this was actually a neighboring party in college but we saw the chaos happen in real time. It was Halloween weekend and a friend and I were on his back porch having a cigarette and shooting the breeze when suddenly we heard glass break from the neighbor's house. A guy dressed as a ninja turtle was now fighting a guy dressed as a zombie in the side yard as others tried to stop them. A girl dressed as a fairy was crying and saying she didn't cheat on the ninja turtle guy and it was a misunderstanding. We just stood there watching this unfold and then someone yelled about the cops being on their way. Everyone panicked and scattered, some people demanded that we let them hide in my friend's house. He said no and we both went inside. Later, we got the whole story from one of the guys who lived there. Ninja turtle guy thought his GF was cheating with zombie guy and decided to pick a fight. He shoved him into a door that had a glass pane and busted it, which was what we heard, and then the fight spilled into the side yard. It was so bizarre to watch two people in Halloween costumes beating the shit out of each other.